If you want to turn your mid-journey images into videos, today I'm going to show you how you can do that using Runway ML. I'll quickly show you how it works, create a few examples, but before I do that, I just want to show you a quick comparison. This video was made using Runway a little while ago. This one with Kling, not quite as sharp, but still has some very sort of natural movement. This one was created with Lumilab's Dream Machine, has some good movement, but still not quite as sharp as Runway and Halo AI. A lot more movement, a lot more frantic, but just a little less natural looking. They are all amazing, but my personal preference here is Runway. It has a sharper image and really natural movement. And I did this with the free account using this image, which I created in Mid Journey. All you need to do is create your image in Mid Journey, head to the Organize tab on the website and bring up the image that you want to use. I highly recommend using an image which is of the aspect ratio you want, like 16 to 9, which is like a television size. You want to come up and click download to download that image to your computer. Then go to runwayml.com and you can come down here to try runway or simply go up top here to get started and then log in or sign up to access your account. Once in your dashboard, head down to the tool section and hit generative session. Make sure you're in the prompt section with the little T and then you can come up and there's a drop image or video section you can drag your image into. Then once it is uploaded, you can come down and add a prompt into the prompt bar to describe what you want to see. I have a woman looking around in a garden, zooming into her eyes. And I have five seconds here. I want to create a 10 second video. I then click generate. And then I need to wait a few minutes while it very quickly generates the video. And again, this is on the free account. And we have our video here. I can preview it by hitting the play button or simply come up here to download my file. And then we get this final result from our image, a very convincing video It is 1280 by 760. So a little over 720p, not bad for a free video service. But there's a lot more we can do. I have this image here and also this other image of like a bunny in like a cyberpunk setting. If I drag the first bunny in, you may notice that underneath it says first and then last. If I click on last, drag the other bunny in, I have this frame. So even though they're slightly different, what I can do is use this as the first frame, this is the last frame, and in my prompt, I describe a way I want it to sort of go between those frames. And we'll see how well it handles the little differences. I have a bunny wearing a jacket in a cyberpunk city, camera panning around the bunny to a different angle. I'm gonna leave it on 10 seconds and hit generate. And now we have our video. And if I preview it, it has a little bit of a morph in the middle, but you can kind of see the usage cases here for this kind of video. I generally prefer to work with just a starting frame myself, uh, but this is something you can play around with to see what you can get. But down here, there are also some more settings. And if I scroll down, a lot of these settings uh, I need to upgrade to actually use. So removing the watermark, but nothing too crazy. I can also come up here where it says Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, which is the free model I can use with my free credits or I can come down to Gen 3 Alpha if I have a premium account. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to upgrade and view all plans. Now this is a bit full on to start with. I'm gonna go with monthly. You can see you can start here for as little as $15 a month if you wanna access the premium features. So I'm going to upgrade and we're gonna test some of them out. Now I created this video earlier using a free account and again with an image I generated on Mid Journey. But now I've signed up for my pro account. So instead of using Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, I'm going to switch to Gen 3 Alpha. Pop the same image in. And again, using it as the first frame, I'm going to come down and put the same prompt in here. I have a rotating view of a woman dressed in a Japanese kimono, temples surrounding her with fire and smoke. I'm going to generate so we can compare. And this time around what we got, the girl is actually quite still while the background is moving a lot. Now, if we were to take this and compare it to the original again, we did see a lot more movement, but this is also a shorter video. As with any AI tool, I recommend trying again sometimes to see if you can get a better result as they do tend to randomize a little bit from time from generation to generation. But I'm gonna come down here and try five seconds and see what we get that this time. And this time we still get something quite still, but just shorter. So let's investigate a bit further. Now at this stage in this particular interface, there's still some settings down here, but they don't do a lot in regards to the movement. I still need to work on my prompt. So I'm gonna add a little bit at the end saying, got panning around the woman as she moves and looks around at the fires. Since she was perfectly still before, we want a little bit more movement. So I'm going to hit generate. This time we get something a little bit more dynamic. So actually being more descriptive in your prompt is pretty important with this model. But let's explore some of these other options we have. 
Coming back to this video here, we have a few options that we can use. I've had to regenerate it without a watermark so I can use these options. But I come down here, I can expand the video, edit the time, I can do video to video. There's a few different things we can do. The first one I'm gonna do is expand the video. And you see here, I can make a vertical out of it. So if I go, I can't go back here because it's already at that aspect ratio, but I can make a vertical out of it and it'll actually create video above and below what we already have. We can also add an optional guiding image, but I don't actually have one here at the moment. So let's see how well it does on its own. So if we have an image which actually has this information top and bottom, we can add that to guide the video process. But I'm gonna hit generate to see what kind of vertical video we get. And check out just how well it's generated the rest of the frame of this video. Very convincing, I'm actually really impressed with this feature. But can we take it a step further? This time I come down, expand again. And now we can actually go landscape from that portrait video and kind of get a nice big zoom out. I generate and check out how far it's been able to take that video. Pretty impressive considering we started with this video zoomed in at the eyes. So that's the power of AI and runway, a really impressive tool. But back to our original video that is based off our mid journey image. I'm gonna come down again and this time I'm gonna go up the top to extend. And in my prompt here, I can choose how to extend and add eight seconds. So maybe I add something in like, eyes open wide in amazement, bright light shines into eyes. So just to try something a little bit different, I click extend eight seconds. Now we have a longer video starting off the same, but then when we get to the end mark, it kind of changes up a little bit. The eyes open wider and a bright light shines into those eyes. So I've actually really altered the nature of the video, but you can see just how impressive this is. But keep in mind, I can come in here as well. And another feature is edit time. I click on that and I can go to the end here where I want it to stop. So maybe it's about here and just kind of like trim that down. I can also change the speed so that we get a faster video or a slower video, or I can even reverse. So let's reverse, change the speed, cut that down and see what we get when we render. So by reversing the video and adding those settings, I've managed to make a pretty creepy AI video. Now maybe you can go and see your full prompt. You can heart react, download, you can even rate this image, but we're gonna go here. This time I'm gonna go video to video. Now our video is over here and I can change this prompt to something different such as, now I haven't used this feature yet, but I've got looking into alien eyes, solid black eyes, gray skin, looking around. I click generate. As you can see, it's attempted to transform that image based on what I've given it. So that could be a lot of fun to play with as well. Now there's a lot more you can do with this tool, but I'm gonna come down here to show you under all tools, there's so many more different things here like lip sync videos, generative audio, so many different things you can play with and it's just a really, really cool platform. I've only covered the basics of taking a mid-journey image and making a video out of it, but if you look through, there's a whole bunch of other things here you can do as well. Upscaling images, frame interpolation, like super slow motion. Uh, there's a lot you can do here and experiment with, but I just want to sort of go through and cut through to a few examples. First of all, you can go to Runway Watch and check out what some other people have created. But I'm gonna throw a few images at this and sort of show you what we're able to get out of this platform. So starting with this image here, I thought was really cool. I tried to talk about the jellyfish moving into space, zooming through, and I got this very spacious sort of walk through that environment. So when it comes to things like scenes and environments, the AI video does exceptional. When I move to something like this, which is an alien floating through a spaceship exploring, it tends to be a little bit more stiff, but still kind of gets the desired effect. Now, a lot of this stuff is a little bit stiff because the AI is still learning, but this particular image I thought was really cool artistically, probably difficult for the AI to get, and it did a great job of kind of rotating around and exploring the image ever so slightly. But I tried to add some VHS glitch overlay effects to this dragon and that asked the dragon to move smoothly and fluidly, but it didn't move the dragon as much. Still created a very cool video, but you can sort of start to see where the limitations begin to kick in. And you'll see that again with this image of the Hulk. It is more of an illustration style image and it kept the style of the image, but it just doesn't really seem as animated. The pieces kind of move around, but it's still a lot of fun. Just like this dinosaur image, I was expecting a little bit more motion out of the dinosaur, but it kind of just moves around the dinosaur. It does a good job creating an almost 3D like effect. It did a great job with this cartoon explorer. And you see, he starts to look around and it starts to look almost like a convincing cartoon. So selecting the type of image that you want to use and being very particular with your prompt, 
Trying again and again is gonna be the key to getting what you want. Now, if you wanna download some of the videos you've exported, head over to the left here to Assets, and you'll see here, Recently Exported. Go to All Exports, tick the ones you want. Under Actions, go Download, and you can save a zip file with all those videos within it. The last thing I want to add is if you want to get your videos beyond that 720p resolution, I'm a big fan of the Topaz suite of programs. This is Topaz Video AI. If I drag in one of these videos, I have it selected. I have a whole bunch of options here. I just want to show you how you can really increase the quality of your videos. For one, we can actually turn on frame interpolation, bring it up to say 30 frames a second. I can enhance and bring the resolution up to say 4x or maybe even just 4k and they have these different models you can choose so it's a general enhancement which is a uh, proteus so i can go through find what i think is going to look the best so some's good for animation high fidelity detail enhancement let's go with thea on this one and we can go through make a whole bunch of adjustments but for now we'll just keep it at that as basics i can render two seconds to preview what i'm going to do but i'm just going to go straight up to export and save that video so we can do a comparison now while it's not perfect the upscale is a bit smoother the frame rate is definitely much smoother. We've got a much more improved video. If we compare that to the original, the frames are slightly jerkier and it's a little bit lower resolution. But let's zoom in and compare them directly. So top is the upscale, bottom is the original. And when you zoom in a bit, you can see a little bit of a difference between the quality of the image. But let's step it up a little bit more to get a closer look. You can see where things are smoothed out a little bit on the top. So that's just an extra tool to help get the most out of your AI videos because maybe that resolution isn't quite enough. But links to Runway and Topaz Video AI are in the description below, but I highly recommend going to Runway. They have a free account. You can try it out, create a few videos, see what you think, have a bit of a play, and bring those mid-journey images to life because it is a ton of fun and definitely worth having a play with. So that is the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.